Now, if you watched my five o'clock show during last week, the Kenny Report, you'd know the ABC is demanding more money from government. It's got its hand out for more money from government. Nothing new in that, I suppose. But this time, they're using the tragedy and trauma of the bushfires as a reason for more taxpayers' dollars. And typically, they're also using their alarmist attitudes on climate to make their argument. This is the new normal, they argue, and they need more of your money to cover it. We estimate that it's going to cost us an extra $5 million per annum from next financial year, where we're going to have to build up our capacity to respond, this being the new normal. I think that we need to bolster our resources in future so that we can respond um, in the future to, to meet the challenge. This is sad, opportunistic and ugly, but the Communications Minister has neither rejected the request nor condemned the tactic. If the ABC brings forward uh, detailed evidence of the extra cost that it has incurred by reason of discharging its emergency broadcaster responsibilities through this severe bushfire season, then of course the government will consider that. Here's an idea. If the ABC wants to spend more money on covering news, you know, like bushfires and natural disasters that make news now, always have made news and always will, perhaps they should look for savings in other ABC areas. In the real world, that's life. Stay strong. 15 is when I left home. So keep going, keep doing what you're doing. Don't hold back. Don't drink chocolate milk, guys. Go straight to your rib cage. <laughs> I don't expect it for another at least 300 years that we'll be able to get rid of racism. What are your weaknesses or what are your strengths? These are the things that people often slip up on. It's really important to do your research when you're looking to get a raise. It's all about loving your queens and respecting black women, but um. <laughs> They actually treat us like Yep, maybe, just maybe, the ABC wastes money in areas like this, ABC Life, where this month reporter Kelly Scott kept us fully abreast of the latest news. With the confidence of knowing I'm not alone, I decided to go bra-free for one week and see how it made me feel, she reported. And, of course, we have lovely pictures to support the article... This is the national broadcaster. What else might interest it, I wonder? You can see why Anderson thinks ABC funding is cut to the bone, with reporters giving the impression they can't even afford underwear. ABC Life also told us about how a run-in at a swimming centre car park was all about climate change and how micro-scale climate effects could erode social cohesion. OK, and another from Kelly Scott last month. Virginity harms and excludes many of us. Is it time we got rid of it? And there's advice on resolving travel arguments with your partner. And perhaps best of all, from Samantha Turnbull three months ago, why women are marrying themselves. Yes, that's a photo of a woman reciting her vows before a celebrant as she gazes into a mirror at a ceremony that the ABC describes as an act of self-love but what you and I might call nutty narcissism. The ABC won't say how much ABC life and all that costs, but it seems even ABC staff are aghast. ABC life deputy editor and former Greens candidate Osman Faruqi tweeted that journos like Kelly Scott are the best in the organisation and the ABC's lucky to have them and that the amount of grief ABC life cops from people inside and outside the building for daring to tell stories about regular Australians who live outside of Annandale is ridiculous. Here's a story idea for ABC Life. How do hard-working taxpayers feel about the ABC demanding more of its cash while it continues to pump out tosh like this? <laughs> 